What's up everybody? I know it's been a while. I haven't done any videos in so long and uh, mainly just been busy with work. Shop's a little dirty right now. Don't mind that. I mean, it wouldn't be a shop if it wasn't dirty, right? So, um, been busy with work and um, we now have a daughter. My girlfriend and I have a daughter. I'm a proud father of a little girl now. And that's bringing me into this project that you're going to see right now. 1999 Jeep Cherokee XJ. Um, I actually owned one of these about six, seven years ago, four, ten years. Uh, I love these things. I've owned a couple of them in my lifetime so far. And uh, as you can see, this Jeep uh, needs some work. But up here in New England, um, these things actually fetch quite a bit of money. They're in good shape, rust-free, lower mileage. I mean, nowadays, 200,000 miles is considered lower mileage because these things have been around for so long. Uh, my other vehicles, I have a 09 G8. GT Sierra 2500 two-door regular cab and obviously I have my old 67 Firebird which are, the G8's good for family for a family of three uh, the baby sick does go in the back fine but it, it being rear wheel drive is not going to be fun in the winter obviously the truck I can't put a rearward facing baby seat in there Firebird well it's got a cage in it and it's kind of self-explanatory it's not winter friendly or baby friendly so as you can see this is the Jeep that I picked up and it does need some work you can see some quarter panel work especially on the passenger side I don't know what lies beneath here probably a whole mess of stuff oh yeah it's nice and nice and soft so I've actually picked this Jeep up pretty pretty cheap it was only a thousand bucks and this is obviously gonna be a little more family friendly with a baby a baby seat in the back and winter friendly because it's four-wheel drive it's got nice tires and nice wheels on it but I think I'm gonna change those out um, basically the purpose of this video and coming videos of this is just to show you a quick and dirty restoration on this old jeep um this jeep has 183 or 86,000 miles on it which is in the lower spectrum for these i mean it's 25 years old and people drive these for long periods of time and rack up all the miles on them so it's got some work it looks like we have we have a rocker panel that needs to be replaced. I know I kind of already went over this a little bit, but I was just talking, so. We got some quarter panel work here and a little bit of the rear wheel well work. Looks like the unibody slash frame in there looks okay. It's got a little surface rust on it. Looking at the back, I do have the flare, by the way, and the cap, I just took them off. Bumper could use a little cleanup. This side, we got some, we got some stuff going on here. I'm gonna go get my light. Little bit of wheel well work. Little punky in there. Rest of it looks okay. I know there's people down in Arizona right now going, that thing's a piece of crap. This is the driver's rocker, which doesn't look as bad as I thought. There's some bubbling there. It'll need a little bit of attention, but I don't think I'm gonna have to replace the entire piece, although I probably should, to be honest with you. Let's get it up on the lift and take a look underneath. Oh yeah, a little framework, right where the filler is for the gas tank. Uh, looks like the rear spring mount is rusted away. Oh yeah. I think I have a solution to that. Yeah, the hitch is junk. So we got a, we got a little bit of metal work back here. I'm gonna rebuild some of the wheel well on the passenger side. Passenger side rocker. It's definitely seen better days. Take a look around the front. Yeah, there's a lot of rusty parts. This is gonna be fun. I just gotta keep telling myself, this is going to be fun. <laughs> Got a couple pieces I gotta replace in the front. Looks like we're missing both bumper caps. And the front bumper has seen better days as well. The thing about these Jeeps is that all the parts for these are cheap. Like, in comparison, one caliper and rotor and pad set for one wheel on my G8 is probably the same price as all four wheel brake, a four wheel brake job on this Jeep. It's probably the same as Two front rotors, pads, two rear drums, shoes, um, and any miscellaneous hardware. It for a comparison of how much to f it costs to fix an XJ versus one of my other vehicles. I know I spent probably a thousand dollars on four calipers, 
four rotors and pads uh, for my Sierra 2500. And I think a four wheel brake job for this thing is like 200 bucks, 250 bucks if you get something nice. So yeah, it needs a little bit of cleanup here. Oh, that's a nice exhaust hanger. <laughs> and this is stuff I obviously looked at when I purchased it, but for the purpose of the video, I'm gonna walk through it, you know? I know an exhaust system stock for this thing is $150, so I don't have to really fabricate uh, an exhaust from scratch. I can just buy a pre-made one. Looks like we got a little bit of a transmission fluid leak here. Yep, probably the pan. Looks like the pan gasket might be leaking. It's getting all over everything. And left a puddle, nice. Might have a rear main seal leak or an oil pan leak, not entirely sure yet. All the joints definitely need some replacing. Might even just replace the brake calipers as well because those don't look that great. Brakes don't look that great either. And again, I looked at all of this when I purchased it, knowing that I would most likely be rebuilding this Jeep from scratch. Not from scratch, but you know, mechanically it's gonna need a ton of work. But I still maintain that uh, these things are indestructible and once rebuilt, this thing will last 100,000 miles easily and I'll get all my money out of it too. So let's uh, take a look under the hood real quick, now that we can see too much, but let's take a look. All right. Well, looks like a four row. So it's not too bad looking. I mean, considering the mileage in the general condition of this Jeep. Looks like somebody must have replaced the valve cover at one point, because I'm pretty sure they didn't come blue, but I could be wrong. Battery definitely needs a replacement. Looks pretty old. Let's see if we can find a date on there. 18, yep. Should probably replace that, even though it's still good. Gotta remember this is the baby wagon, so gonna make sure it's got a fresh battery in it. Everything else looks all right. I don't really see any rust problems under the hood anywhere. Not that. There usually is on these. See a little bit of rust on that shock tower, but that's not too bad. It's actually not too bad looking. I'm I'm kind of surprised. It's kind of a rusty booster, but I did drive this home and it drove fine as far as the brakes were concerned. So a little surface rust is okay. I don't know if I'm gonna go through the trouble of replacing that. Maybe I will. We'll see. We'll see if we get to that. We'll see what's in the budget. I don't know what is all over it here. Some kind of, oh, it's just dirt or something. I don't know what that is. Maybe somebody popped a coolant line or something like that. So let's hear it run real quick. First thing you'll notice about this is it does not have ABS, which you probably noticed under the hood. Famous XJ squeak. Well, aside from the exhaust leak, it, it actually runs pretty good. It runs smooth. I don't really, I don't hear any knocking, ticking. I don't really hear any abnormal noises. have a check engine light on I'm not surprised I'll we'll have to read the codes and figure out what that is so it has 184,000 on it so this isn't what it looked like when I first cut it I have actually been in here cleaning I know who cleans an XJ right but uh this thing was covered in dog hair you can see it has the typical 
XJ headliner with staples holding it up. <laughs> um, so these, this, the rear seat was way, way dirtier than that. I cleaned it up with one of those Dirt Devil spot cleaners that you may have seen in one of my shorts. Um, I actually tested it on the seats from this Jeep because you can see I took them both out. And I have been cleaning the carpet. The carpet is actually a lot cleaner than it was. Under this light, you can see some staining. But uh, all of this was black, like black, black of just 25 years of dirt and grime buildup. But it doesn't look too bad. The interior of this thing's actually fairly clean. Um, it could use a little more cleaning. And I may fix the headliner, even though it's not its not imperative. It's Obviously, it doesn't affect the way the thing drives or anything. But I, I did want it to look somewhat kind of respectable. But anyway, I'll show you the seats. So there's your typical XJ seat. This is the passenger seat. And the driver's seat looked pretty much identical to it with all this really dark staining. It's actually kind of hard, too. Um, I, I have never seen an XJ um, with stock seats that didn't look like this, but I can show you that. After I cleaned it with the Dirt Devil Spot Cleaner, which, mind you, I am not promoting that. I am just saying the thing's actually pretty decent for what it is. We'll do a quick... Uh, so, like, this would be, like, a before, and that would be an after. As you can see, like... That is exactly what the driver's seat looked like, and that is after I used a spot cleaner. It actually has just like some, some dust on it, but uh, it worked great. That seat looks almost new. I know you can see a little bit, of, a little bit of staining left over, but I wanted to clean this up. I wanted it to be clean. There's going to be a newborn baby in there, and uh, you know it's important to make sure that this Jeep is clean. So there it is. There's the project. It's gonna take some time. I know um, I don't really talk about like myself a lot on my videos, but um, so I grew up building cars, doing a lot of repairs on cars with my father and my uncle since I was 10 years old. And at one point when I was around 20, I started working in dealerships as a tech. I started as a someone pushing a broom to doing oil changes, all the way up to replacing transmissions. And I did that for about 15 years. And uh, I'll never claim to know it all. I am not the best mechanic or restoration. I'm not a restoration expert by any means, but this is something I enjoy doing. I've always enjoyed doing car stuff, um, building cars and tinkering with them. I don't really like repairing them. I like, to, I like to build cars so that they perform better than they did. Repairing is just kind of boring, but I'm sure a lot of you knew that I was kind of into cars and I was a car enthusiast when you saw my shop with my lift in it. I don't think I could ever have a shop at this point without a lift in it. So that's kind of where I come from. And uh, this is going to be dubbed the, the baby wagon. This is the baby wagon project. We're almost into November. So this is kind of like an under the gun kind of project where I'm going to need this if it snows. I can obviously take my truck and the girlfriend has an all wheel drive vehicle. So I'm not too, I'm not under pressure too much. But this is definitely something that um, I'm kind of looking forward to. I'm not looking forward to that. I don't, I don't really like body work. Uh, that is not fun. And I know there's going to be some XJ enthusiasts in the comment section saying I should scrap it. But you got to understand that uh, to me, the parts are cheap and my labor is free. And I have welders and I have skills and the ability to do it. And I, have, I think honestly, when all said and done, the amount of parts I put into this and labor, it'll it'll work itself out in the end to where I'm not spending eight thousand dollars on a on the same one that is rust free, ready to go. I might be into this for two to three thousand dollars, maybe a little more, and I'll have a, a decent Jeep that I know is safe and ready to go because I touched every part on it. Anyway, so the list of work to be done is obviously gonna be body work. I'm going to replace the wheels and tires only because even though those tires are like brand new, I'm, I'm actually not a fan of the, the rims on it. Um, we'll be going through all the engine maintenance, the fluids and everything like that. We're going to rebuild the entire suspension, uh, clean up the interior a little bit more. There's a couple seat studs that did break on it, which I'm not surprised. And I'm sure the XJ guys are not surprised either. Uh, we're going to make sure that the 
engine and transmission are operating well, which I kind of already know. I've driven this thing about a half an hour home and I didn't really have many issues uh, with it shifting or the engine or anything like that. But there was a lot going on with the suspension. Somebody definitely messed with that. So I'll be doing the entire exhaust system, which again, it's just a cat back. I'm not really too involved with that. And um, yeah, just a little, you know, general prep work, cleaning it up, making sure the thing is safe. Uh, making sure it's all operational. I will be adding in car seat um, attachment points in there. So that's another thing that I'll be doing because this, I'm pretty sure, I have to double check, but I'm pretty sure these don't come with the um, car seat anchor points until 01 or if they did at all. I'm not really sure. So that is the plan. So I hope you guys find some interest in these upcoming videos of the uh, Project Baby Wagon we have going on here, a 99 Jeep Cherokee XJ. And uh, next time you see me, I'll be doing some body work and tearing this thing down. And I'll probably do it in, uh, you know, steps for the video. I'll, I'll do, you know, let's tear out the whole suspension. We'll do the body work. I'll probably separate it that way. So you can see this little project come together. And um, I will be, I know everyone's dying to see something about this. I know everyone, everyone loves my waste oil heater. I have plans for this. I want to build another burn pot for it, like a different design. And I may start off in my um, CAD program and do a video in my CAD program of what I think it need, needs to look like. I'm not ignoring anyone. I know so many people want me to talk more about my waste oil heater. And trust me, I love this thing. It works awesome. I haven't had any issues with it. Um, I do want to make some improvements on it. But I felt like if I didn't take the time to like say something about it, people would be pissed off. So that's in the works. Um, I have some other little projects kicking around. But uh, this is a primary, primary project for now. So stay tuned and uh, thanks for watching.